guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the free to play account and we're looking at the new event, which is the Bountiful Trials of Mishka. I'm really interested to see exactly how this is going to work out. We know she is a tank. We know she is a strength base. She is a control hero. So ultimately, we're going to have to see how this plays out. A lot of people that have tested her have said they're not too impressed. But ultimately, I don't want to make a decision on the hero from them. So remember guys, you do have the, the guild trials right here. So if you're pushing the guild trials, they are free diamonds. Anything that you can get free in this game, absolutely do guys, because it is very imperative to pick those up. So here we do have Mishka and the Wolves. This trial, we're gonna go with Grez. We're gonna go with Isabella, Nomura, which we know is gonna be some heavy crowd control. And then it's running with the Strilda. So an interesting combination in this one. And we're gonna slow it down because again, I want to see how effective Mishka is up here. So right there, she shields herself. She shields the wolves. There's the ultimate ability, which is the AoE stun. So looking very strong right off the gate. The big thing that um, players have been saying is, can the wolf survive? So if you've seen the Thorin retaliation ability right there, the wolves almost died. It took them to a very sliver of health. Um, so ultimate. Ultimately, we're going to have to see how effective it's, it's going to be when it comes to level deficiencies. So sliding over here to the right, we are going to utilize the exact same team. So we have Mishka, we have Grez, Isabella, Namora for some crowd control, and then we have Estrilda in here as well. Which now we're against Mishka, so just got pulled in right there. See? Iran turned around to fight the wolves. So if you notice that, Iran has actually turned around to fight the wolves. Now with Grez, he turned around to fight Grez's minions. But it looks like, I believe both of the wolves are dead. Well, she actually died pretty, pretty easy on that one. Um, but two of her four abilities do not work if the, if the wolves are dead. So a lot of people are really concerned with that. Again, when we get into the level deficiencies, is she going to be able to keep those wolves up? If she does not, she's going to lose a significant amount of or pretty much everything that she has within the battle. So this one, we're going with Mishka again because we have to. We have Titus going with Nimitsu, Oden, which I absolutely love, and then Kelthar versus Athelia. That should be pretty interesting. So the wolves are in the back. It turns the target around, which I do like. Even here, um, it looks like the wolves has, still have a decent amount of hit points. So short of her dying, I haven't seen the wolves die yet. She does quite a bit of healing there. Oden, of course, just doing a monster amount of damage, which we absolutely love to see. I am super excited for the Graveborn engraving. It is what I'm waiting for. I'm going to max out Oden. We're going plus 60 on Oden. And then with Lilith, when Lilith lets us to reset the scrolls, um, or reset the engraving. I'm going to swap it right there. So Mishka, again, front row tank. Let's see how it works right here. So we got the wolves in the back. As you can see, Anoki is turned around. Anoki is fighting off the wolves, which is pretty good. So, so that might be um, kind of a, a solid distraction. We see it down here with Nemitsu's totems. It, it can be very frustrating to try to kill out the wolves. But Mishka is still up. Let's slow it down even further. The wolves are still up, guys. So the wolves are still up in this battle. So again, it's going to have to be what does it look like in a 120 deficiency? What does it look like at a 150 deficiency? What does it look like at a 200 deficiency? Um, and really thinking about it, so Gorvo, remember right off the bat, he does his dive bomb, which does help out considerably. She doesn't have an ability like that. Her ultimate ability is the one like that. So for the final two trials, we're running Mishka with Rigby down here. We're running Nemesu for the distraction, Desira for the Oceanic Mist, and then of course Nara is going to snatch up Iran over here. Boom, love the Nara grab. All right, so the wolves are up, the wolves are shielded. Brutus with the Whirlwind not doing that much damage to them. Again, the, the wolves turning Brutus the other way, pop the immunity shield there. And as you can see, Brutus is marked. We have the mark over Mishka's head and the wolves are sleeping right there. 
big dive bomb, which the the wear bear does kind of add a little bit of um, I guess RNG to the formations. So I'm wondering if we could make a team Baden and Grez Nemesu get all the distraction, get all the ads in there, um, and see kind of what that looks like. Even Hendrick down here, guys. When Hendrick shields, he is just a monster to try to kill. Boom, there we go. A couple seconds left on that one. Wolf still up, which is good to see. So over to our left, this is going to be our final trial here, guys. So we'll take a minute, we'll, we'll kind of break it down a little. So they're 240 or we're at 240, enemies are at 240. So again, this is looking at a zero level deficiency, um, which is why a lot of people have said, you know, the trials are very not um, indicative of what they're actually gonna do in the campaign, which is the other reason why I don't know any players that run, you know, Desiro with Nemitsu, Nara and Rigby. Um, most of those heroes don't even make tier lists anywhere anymore. But these are the ones that Lilith kind of throws at us in, in the, the builds that kind of work overall. Look at Satrana just running away right there. Nara's finishing move. Boom, Rigby lighting up Thorin. Which again, the wolves are still up. Which I like. I wonder if Nemitsu heals the wolves. Because I see right there we had um, Desira with her ultimate ability did keep the wolves up. So it seems like it's going to have to be solid support um, to get and keep those wolves alive, guys. So that'll do it for her Arena of Trials. We're going to run through really quick like we always do. Um, just check out her skills and abilities. This is really the big one. She jumps into an area. She does the stun. Now... Similar, again, to Gorbo's Dive Bomb, um, but this is her ultimate. That, that's where I think it's a little bit different, and it does reduce the defense of the enemy. So six seconds stun, her ultimate ability, if we can keep her up, if we can keep her alive, this is a pretty solid stun. 40% defense reduction and a six second stun. Definitely work. Dire Wolves, putting up some damage in there, um, definitely has the, the mark ability in here to deal damage equal to 5% of the current damage. The additional damage Mika deals to enemies marked with Feral Bite is increased to 10% of the current health, which again could do a considerable amount of damage, but the wolves have to be up. The, the dire wolves have to be up, which is the same here. Um, Call of the Wild with m the wolf spirit over the target enemy head and gripping onto them, unable to move or use abilities, marking them with a bite in the process, which is what we see in the little three slashes on there. Um, again, if a wolf dies, when one of Mishka's wolves dies, the number of attacks become two, so the other wolf will attack more. When they both die, this ability cannot be used. Again, that is what players are really looking at, um, is in level deficiencies, if these wolves die really quick, you're gonna lose Call of the Wild, you're gonna lose Dire Wolves, making the Wild Child pretty much useless at that point. And this is what you want to kind of keep them alive. And interesting enough, they based it on the attack rating. Um, they didn't base it on HP, which I would have liked to see because remember, she is a tank, she is in the tanking tree, but it is the shield is based on the attack rating, um, which is interesting. So all heroes receive healing and are shielded as well with her plus 60 signature item. So might make a little bit of a difference there, but ultimately I, I really hope that she can survive as a tank. Miska's ultimate end, she receives 30% damage reduction. So big one with this, guys, she has to ult. When the ultimate ability ends, she gets the damage reduction. Because remember, when she ults, she's going to dive into the most densely populated area. Um, providing a stun for six seconds. Then once the ultimate ability ends, she is going to have a damage reduction, which again is gonna be nice. I don't like the, the plus 10 and the 12, plus 20, um, just for the simple fact that I'm not relying on her for damage. I need a tank and I need a tank that can survive. And then of course, damage reduction here as well. So she's got multiple or, or another form of damage reduction. Each enemy that is knocked in the air with the ultimate increases the damage reduction additional 10% up to 40, which I believe it's only 30. 
So if it's only taking to a max of 40, um, only an additional 10, which damage reduction of 40, we know is not too high. Look at Scrag, um, look at Arthur. The damage reduction is not super high on that one. Then of course, her furniture, 50% of damage dealt by the wolves is converted to health if the wolves are alive. Again, that is the big thing. Each time it dies, her enemy or energy is immediately replenished and attack rating. The nine of nine for her is very good because again, getting into the level deficiencies, the wolves are gonna die if a wolf dies. So each time a wolf dies, so this will trigger twice. She'll get an attack rating boost and an attack speed for the remainder of the battle. Could offset the, the two abilities you're using, but I think it's just gonna be the crowd control aspect in there. Um, and energy is replenished. So I don't know if that is going to give her 100% energy if they take down a wolf. In that case, you could even cheese it, um, send in sacrificial wolves at the beginning with the level deficiencies just to get her to alt twice right off the bat. So guys, that will do it for the Bountiful Trials of Mishka. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I cannot wait to see her on the live server, really use her and see how well she does. So again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.